Hey guys, it's Jen. It's Aaron. And we are the Misadventures of Team AJ. That's right. Hope you guys are doing well. So, we are in New Orleans tonight and we have something very special for you planned. I mean, we are taking you along to our date night. Where, hon? At Commander's Palace. Mm -hmm. This amazing historic restaurant which we're going to tell you all about while we're here. Because when you come to New Orleans, this is a must do. It is amazing, the food is amazing, the staff is amazing, and the history is amazing. Yes. So we are taking you along to date night at Commander's Palace tonight, and also there's another special event going on throughout our city. It is Restaurant Week yes. from June 19th to June 25th. Team AJ loves their Restaurant Week we every do. year. Guys, if you have a Restaurant Week by you, you definitely need to go. A lot of these restaurants have what is called price fix menus. And these price fix menus, so they give you a, a certain, let's say, appetizer, entree, and a dessert for a set price. And they give you a menu of limited options, but it's a great way to try a restaurant you normally wouldn't be able to try, like Commander's Palace, for example. Mm -hmm. So we are here tonight for Restaurant Week. And we're having a date night. Mm -hmm. So it's the best of both worlds. Yes. So we're going to link all the information below for Restaurant Week. So we are excited to be here. And we're excited that you're coming along with us to have a great night on our date night. Because Team AJ, we love our date nights. So let's go have a great time. Yes. And also for those that do not know, it is located in front of Lafayette Cemetery Number 1. We're going to show you some of that footage as we're walking by. The cemetery is closed for renovations, but we're going to give you some beauty of this amazing cemetery. And we're going to tell you some history while we're here at Commander's Palace because it's literally right across the street. Lafayette Cemetery Number 1, founded in 1833, has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. February 1st, 1972, this was dedicated. Lafayette Cemetery Number 1 is located in the Garden District here in New Orleans. Lafayette Cemetery Number 1 is one of the oldest city-governed cemeteries. The cemetery was named after the city of Lafayette, which is once the area of New Orleans. With almost 500 wall vaults, the cemetery has a rich history of some of the first settlers from Ireland and Germany. Some of the most famous people buried in Lafayette Cemetery No. 1 are Mayfair witches, Lafayette and Jefferson firemen. Also, there are 1,100 family tombs and over 7,000 people buried here. So we can't wait to bring this to you when they reopen after the repairs are done because this is such a beautiful and historic cemetery and there's so much history. We can't wait to bring that to you. So Team AJ is going to give you some history on this amazing restaurant, this historic restaurant, Commander's Palace, here in the Garden District in New Orleans. Commander's Palace, nestled in the middle of the tree-lined Garden District, has been a New Orleans landmark since 1893. Known for the award-winning quality of its food and its atmosphere, the history of this famous restaurant offers a glimpse into New Orleans' storied past and has been the go-to destination for the hot Creole cuisine and whimsical Louisiana charm. The winner of seven James Beard Foundation Awards, Commander's Palace has evolved into a culinary legend. When Ella, Dottie, Dick, and John Brennan took over personal supervision of the restaurant in 1974, they began to give the splendid old landmark a new look both inside and out, including painting the outside the iconic Commander's Blue. Now under the watchful eye of co-proprietors T, Adelaide Martin, and Lolly Brennan, the Brennan family's dedication to perfection has never wavered. A steady parade of renowned chefs, Emeril Lagasse, Paul Perdone, Jamie Shannon, Tori McPhail, and now Meg Bickford have made Commander's Palace the world-class restaurant what it is today, and its leading edge new hot Creole cuisine reflects the best of the city. So guys, let's go have a great date night here at Commander's Palace. Are you ready to come with us? Happy restaurant week. <laughs>
the beautiful courtyard. It is gorgeous here. We got here a little early. So we have about 20 minutes before our reservation at nine o'clock. So we are actually just sitting here, enjoying our date night here in the courtyard and enjoying the beautiful views and the beautiful fountain. It's so peaceful here. You guys are gonna love it. Also, we wanted to mention one thing too. If you come to New Orleans and you're not able to dine here, they have a to-go menu. You can literally order food and take it to go. We're gonna link that information below. So the menu is only available right now from 11.30 to 7 p.m. every day. When you come to New Orleans area, make sure you order within that time so you can take your food to go. That's a really cool thing that Commander Palace lets you do. It is those James Beard Awards? They have seven. They have seven of them. And they can run Hello, Ashley here at Commander's Palace. I'm not sure what else to say, but hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. I'm in charge of drinks, the party tonight. Boom, here goes Tanisha with our water. That's so amazing for those that have never been to Commander's Palace. I feel like what makes Commander's Palace so special is like everything's homemade. So like you won't get that flavor that you're getting here at Commander's anywhere else because we make everything in-house from our desserts to prep for all of our entrees. I think everything's good here. And then plus, we have a incredible wine cellar. Our wine cellar has over 3,000 bottles of wine that we have to offer like 365 days of the year. Um, our wine cellar is huge. We offer parties. Um, a lot of people celebrate their special events with us, so I think so that's what makes us. Yeah, you can do parties in the wine cellar. We'll have to check that out a little later. Parties of like, I want to say 15 at the most. Very Super nice. nice. It's nice and cool in there. Okay. Um, there's a sommelier on deck ready to um, help you out with any glasses. Oh. So, we love Commander's Palace. The service is amazing, and the atmosphere is absolutely stunning, elegant, beautiful. So you're going to see in this video how amazing Commander Palace is. They just brought us actually our bread. So it looks like a little garlic bread, a little seasoning on it. We love our bread. So also Ashley, one of our waitresses, had mentioned that they have the wine cellar here, that they also give wine cellar tours depending on what's going on tonight. So she's gonna find out if we're able to do that tonight, the wine cellar tour, but if not, we'll definitely be back to Commander's Palace. We don't live far from here, so we can come back anytime. Also, they do special occasions, guys. So if you wanna come here and have that special event, they do catering. So you guys ready to try this amazing garlic bread with me? It's so good. Got some garlic, the bread is cooked perfectly. This is great garlic bread. Not great, I'm gonna use my word, amazing garlic bread. So we're gonna tell you a little bit about what's on the menu, because I know you guys are very curious, because this is an amazing place to eat at when you come to New Orleans. So my husband's also gonna link the menu right here. And let's go check out this amazing menu. So what we're gonna do tonight is we're actually going for the three course restaurant week offerings. So depending on what restaurant you go to, sometimes it's three course meals, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's six. It just depends on what that restaurant's offering for restaurant week. So you have a choice of starters. So we can get a salad or a soup. There's turtle soup, also Creole gumbo. I think I might try the gumbo. So we got some salads. We also got some goldfish crudo, upside down Louisiana crab and coconut custard. That sounds really good. So you can pick your starter and then you have your entrees. So we got Louisiana heirloom pepper shrimp curry. We have crispy whole gulf fish for those fish lovers. Tempura fried Japanese eggplant. That caught my attention when I checked out the menu before we booked our reservation. There's also a house made glazed short rib. Ooh, I'm also tempted to get that too. They also have a lacquered Texas quail, guys. They got some quail. They have char grilled tasso brine double cut pork chop. That sounds so good. And you guys ready for desserts? I guess we'll leave desserts for a little later, but we're gonna tell you right now, because I'm sure you're very curious, because when you're in New Orleans here, they got amazing food and amazing desserts. So we have Creole bread pudding souffle. They said they're known for that. I'm definitely checking bread pudding out, because that is my favorite thing to eat. Creole cream cheese. Okay, guys, this is gonna be tough. Creole cream cheese cheesecake. I am a huge cheesecake lover. That's gonna be tough, bread pudding or cheesecake. 
You know what, babe? One's gonna get the bread pudding, and one's gonna get the cheesecake, and we're gonna split it. Cheers, date night at Commander's Palace here in New Orleans. So we have our amazing waiter here. That guy, Mr. Kyle. How are we doing? Now? Everybody say hi to Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> My husband has a food allergy to mushrooms. Mushrooms? Yeah. So you guys, also for people that have allergies, let your waiter know, and they will accommodate for whatever your allergy is. Got it. I'll take note of that for you. So my husband just got his salad. That looks so good. So what kind of salad is that? It is a romaine salad, like I said when I was ordering. And what it has is some um, parmesan, some um, bacon bits, okay. and um, French bread croutons, only in New Orleans. I love the croutons. Only in New Orleans. French bread croutons, gotta have some. And with this cream sauce, and it just looks amazing. I cannot wait to dig in. Mm. That's good. Sounds good. He likes it. He's got a smile on his face. That's good. Okay. Gotta say it right. That's good. That's good. No wonder why they're known for their gumbo. So this is chicken and sausage, and it's not spicy. It is the perfect concoction. This is so good. That's a known fact, guys. If you didn't know that, andouille sausage, you're eating alligator meat. So did you guys know that? If you're eating andouille sausage, you're eating alligator. It's a, a lot of people don't know that. It's a mixture with a lot of pork and a little bit of alligator. Yep. When you come to New Orleans, we all love our andouille sausage. It's alligator. You're having some. So, baby girl, your food has come to you. It is. I'm downing all the bread. Um, I'm on a carb kick tonight, but it's date night, right? So, who's counting? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. So, I got the short rib. This looks absolutely so good. Look at that. And it seems like you put the fork on it. It is so tender. Look at that. And also, I see some mashed potatoes. I'm definitely going... Oh, this is grits. That's right. The grits. Ooh. And stone truffle grits. When you come to New Orleans, you need to try the grits. You need grits in your life because New Orleans has the most amazing grits in the world. And she's just trying the grits. This is so different. I've never tasted grits like this. The grits are a little, like, thicker. I love them. So this is um, compliments of the team and Mr. Kyle. Uh, we have our trouble tree here. Get us a little trouble. And we have little mini shots of our Saint 75. It's our spinoff of our French 75. So it has gin, our elder, um, I'm sorry, Saint Germain elder basil. We have um, sparkling wine in there, and then our basil simple syrup and a splash of lime juice. Awesome. Thank you very much. Somebody over here is going to try that. That was very nice. Thank you. Ah. So thank you guys. So thank you to the waitstaff at Commander's Palace. They comped us these awesome, awesome mini drinks. So we don't drink, but we're going to try this. So there's nothing wrong with trying. I'm going to take out the little mint leaf. And let's see what it's about because it actually sounds really good. So thank you guys. We appreciate you. We love you. I like being able to taste something that doesn't taste like alcohol. So I like fruity things. I like things with juice in it. Pina coladas. Like if I did have a sip, that's what I would have. Malibu babies. They're not tasting like pure alcohol. This is actually really good. I know my husband's not going to try it. But I'm definitely going to take a sip. Because that's the least we can do for them comping us these amazing drinks. So thank you guys. Thank you to Commanders for having an amazing date night. Everyone needs to come to Commanders for date night. So cheers to date night. Thank you to Commanders. No way. No way. No way. So are you trying your shorter? I don't even need a knife with this. Look at how tender this is. I am kind of with her fault. I don't even need the knife. The proper way is to use a knife, but I didn't because I wanted to see how tender this was. I have to tell you guys, this is the best short rib I've ever tasted. Every once in a while, when me and Aaron do go out, we get short rib. There is nothing like this. 
the meat is so tender and juicy and it just melts in your mouth. Mm. And a little surprise for her, my spoon bread. Mm. I couldn't wait to try this. Spoon bread. That's awesome. Look at that baby. That is absolutely beautiful. And the biggest pork chop I've ever seen out at a restaurant. A little housekeeping first. We just found out that the cellar is closed for construction. So they were telling us it's going to be open again in September-ish. So we'll make sure to be back here so we can show you the wine cellar. It's guaranteed. And if you come to New Orleans, ask them after September if you can go to the wine cellar. They get tours. So that's awesome. So now, without without further ado, without a shadow of a doubt, we are about to try my pork chop. I can't wait to try a pork chop. My husband always complains that I eat all his food. She does. So like if he's got a bowl of spaghetti, I go and take his bowl. He's like, why can't you make your own bowl? So I think I might have to steal that tonight and get a little bit of my money. My husband's going to be a little upset. Oh, he left me some of my plate. I'll take it. Yeah. It's so well done. I mean, very the 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 texture is amazing. There's like this chili powder flavor, but it's not spicy at all. Uh, Shea Manifee it is great. I guess we'll be back to the Magic Palace again next year for restaurant week, and we'll be coming more often for date night. All right, this is our whiskey cream sauce. I'm gonna top that souffle off with that, and I'll leave the rest on the side for y'all to. Wow! Add. So this is the famous bread pudding at Commander's Palace. Absolutely. Look at this! Ooh, I can't wait to try it. Thank you so much. Wow! Now that is some bread pudding, guys. Oh, I can't wait to try it. Oh, and you even smell it's like. It's like a, is it a rum sauce? It smells like a little... Oh, whiskey sauce. Just... Whiskey, because I'm smelling like something. It's whiskey. Ooh, you smell it. It's got a really distinct smell, but it smells so good. I can't wait to dig in. You're a silly Oh, wow. That trap. April's I guess you like it. I'm not saying this. I'm not definitely just saying this. I have never had bread pudding like this. This is so, so different than any other bread pudding that I've ever had. Normally bread pudding is a little thicker and it's more of like, um, I guess more spongy. Like I said, it's a mixture of, that's a mixture of meringue and bread pudding. And it's so like soft and so smooth. And it's like you, you're literally like eating the best. It's like... It's I mean, airy, but it's the best airy in the world. Look at this. It's not like thick, so it doesn't fill you up as quick, but you enjoy all the flavors and the taste. Mm. So what did you get, hon? Um, I didn't get the gray stuff, even though it's delicious. Oh, if you guys don't know what he meant, be our guest at Magic Kingdom. Oh, you, you when said... we go to Disney, we always eat at Be Our Guest. It's one of our favorite restaurants. And you get the you get the gray stuff as part of your dessert. Yeah, the gray stuff is delicious. Yeah, and if you don't believe if you don't believe me, ask the dishes. Yes. But we are not a Disney. We are a Commander Salas thing. Oh, and this look is at look at a parfait, a pecan parfait. Wow. This is one of the co-proprietor's favorite dishes. It's even have a name in it. Aaron's not a big dessert person. Jen loves her desserts. So I am definitely trying that. I'm gonna toast to y'all. Oh, toast, cheers. Even though that probably just was blurry. That looks so good. I'm trying to get to the ice cream because I'm not a whipped cream person. Also, the presentation, guys, on the food here is top notch. Five stars. It looks beautiful. When they bring out the dishes, it's a beautiful dish. That's good. I'm not, a, like I said, I'm not a big dessert person and I'm not a big whipped cream person and also I'm going straight for the ice cream. It's my fault. I should have asked without whipped cream. And they got pieces of pecan inside here too. So it really is a parfait. Oh, mm. Ooh, and you're not a dessert person and you can't get enough. It's going to get all over my nose. 
We have to be respectful. This is a very good restaurant. I know. It's actually, it's really, it's really fun. Yeah, that's actually, that's, that's soup play. It's the board of It's the board of baby soup. All right. Mm. I'm out. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm tasting vanilla in here. Oh, I'm definitely tasting vanilla. So this is like a... It's a vanilla ice cream. It's a buffet. Yeah, I'm tasting the vanilla ice cream. It's a buffet. I haven't had one of these in a very long time. So it's got some whipped cream on top. You got some um, chunks of uh, some pieces of pecan. All the pecan on top is pecan on the inside. And, um, with the vanilla ice cream, there's like a pecan sauce down there too. It's delicious. Right here, this is our uh, uh, front and back line that we work out of. All of the entrees work out of here. And we have the sous chef Mikey Thibodeau. He was seeing the line, looking over every single entree as they go out. Awesome. On the far side over there, that is our garbage day soups, salads, and bun appetizers. We have that section over there. This, this room is the sweetest one in the house. This is our dessert. Oh, you it's got a dessert the, kitchen. You got a dessert kitchen. Wow. Here to make those Hi, pastry chefs. You guys were awesome. Shake my The desserts are amazing. Really good. You guys do a great job. Yeah, she ate mine too. So. Yeah, I had both. <laughs> so there's a house next door that was Miss Ella's. She's, she's, who, uh, she's the person who made us who we are today. Correct. She brought in Chef Paul Perdome, uh, Emeril Lagasse, and then after that, uh, followed up by Jamie Shannon, Tori McPhail, and now Chef Meg Bickford, our first female executive chef, as well as our first Louisiana native since Paul Perdome to be leading our kitchen. Nice. And that's why we love our commander's balance. Yeah, I mean, the first two chefs literally were like, became household names. Oh yeah, no, they definitely set uh, Haute Creole cuisine on fire across the oh, world. Yeah, okay. And uh, Chef Paul Perdome actually put three animals and on the endangered species list at one point in time. Yeah. Alligator, snapping turtle, that's black drum, and that is a, yeah, that's I was about to say, that's actually a true story. All of those are back to more sustainable practices and okay. you can get them wild caught with the exception of Louisiana black drum that's still not allowed to be commercially fished. Okay. It's great to be back. We love Commander's Palace and we're so happy that we can show people how amazing this place is because it's legendary. When you come to New Orleans, everyone has to try Commander's Palace. It's a must. Absolutely. It's definitely a must. So thank you so thank much. You. My pleasure. We had a great time. Thanks for being awesome. And we can't wait to be back at Commander's Palace. At one time, we will be at the grown-ups table. Okay. Yeah. 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 There is actually really special uh, reservations for that go about two years in advance. Wow, two years in advance, yeah, guys, to get table. that table, the chef's table. I guess we better go on the list now, yeah, huh? Start working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so did you have a great time with Team AJ for our date night all together at Commander's Palace? I, well, I had a great time for you. I can't speak on if you had a great time, mm -hmm. but I had a great time. You had a great time? We had a great time. Yes. As you can see, the staff, the management, the chefs, everyone from the top to the bottom who make this place so magical as you can see we gave you a little bit of tour thank you to the manager who gave us a little tour we appreciate you we got some saint 75 drinks we had an amazing time when you guys come to new orleans this is a must so if you have a date night with your girl mm -hmm. you have a date night with your guy whoever's planning it mm -hmm. Come to Commander's Palace. Yeah. It is an amazing date night. And you don't have to come on a weekend. Come during the weekday when there's less crowds. Yeah. Advice. That's another tip, especially, you know, the locals do. A lot of them come during the week. So we want to thank Commander's Palace for being awesome. Thank you for letting us do this video. So we're going to say good night. Thank you guys for watching. We love you. Thank you for all your support. We can't do this without you. So with that said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And les les bon temps roulés. Let the good times roll. Good night, guys from New Orleans. We'll see you at the next event. <laughs>